Impact of all these calculations is the ability to do to do to identify the kinematical constraints. How are these things restricted? Typically speaking, if there is a rigid bar, you are going to use some kind of similar triangle. So when you are looking at these kinds of problems, think about okay, how are these how are these things related? If you have an idea of how these things are related, you are in a major step, and this is actually the hardest step. In our case, similar triangles gives us. This implies u1 over rb equal to u2 over rc. This means u1 over how much is that? Uh, 2 meters must be equal to u2 over 6 meters, or 6 u1 equal to 2 u2. Or u three u one equal to u two. Now you are thinking, you know, we have made a real mess. We now have five unknowns. R Y F one F two U one U two, but only three equations. That's not helped us, right? So let us list, list, list the equations so that we know. The first one says R Y plus F one plus F two. <coughs> Minus three thousand equal to zero. The second one says two F one plus six F two minus twelve thousand equal to zero. Or F one plus three F two minus Six thousand equal to zero. So we will cancel this out. So this is uh, this is our original equation, which was called equation two. This is equation three prime and equation four. Can you see these three equations? So I would just want to highlight it. That's one equation. That's another one. That's another one. Okay. And this doesn't seem to help. We have five equations. So, I mean, we have five unknowns, only three equations. So we have to do one more step. I told you. I mean, this is going to take a little bit of while because this is a very important one. Step five. And this thing is called material analysis. Usually also referred to as constitutive equations. This tells us how material response typically connects displacements. And forces. We know what this is, right? You have seen this many times. This is our U equals F L over E A. So this is our basic formula, and we are going to use this in the form U one equals F one L one over E one A one. U two equal to F two L two over E two A two. In our particular case, E is two hundred and ten thousand MPa. Area is pi over four times four squared millimeter squared. Length is three meters, which is three thousand millimeters. 
<coughs> so all these things are known <coughs> hey we got two more equations relating u and f so let us call this equation 5 this is equation 6 now i want you to see or oh, just to make sure that there is no confusion i'm going to make this like that so you can see okay equation 5 is u1 equal to f1 l1 over e1 a1 u2 equal to f2 l2 over e2 a2 so i want you to realize that now i have five equations for five one modes now one way to solve this is by is by just substitution and i will show you that another way to solve this is by using excel i will show you that also so step 6 solve our, our first step is use 3u1 equal to u2 so 3f1 l over ea equal to f2 l2 over e2 a2 and the fact is ea and l are all the same so this whole thing gets cancelled out and you will get a very simple relation 3f1 equal to f2 and this is equation number 7 so take equation 7 and substitute it in 3 prime f1 plus 3 f2 so i will get f1 plus 3 times 3 f2 minus 6000 equal to 0 sorry so that is 10 f1 equal to 6000 which implies f1 is 600 Newtons F2 is 3 times F1 1800 Newtons sorry there is 9 plus 1 10 F1 is 600 Newtons F2 is 1800 and that's our forces and now we can compute what are the stresses to see if they are safe so sigma 1 so now I am going to switch to using my excel spreadsheet so that we are now ready to solve this so in order to see this excel spreadsheet a little bit better I am going to zoom it in so the calculations appear a little bit better so F1 600 Newtons F2 is 1800 Newtons, Young's modulus is 210000 megapascals, length is 3123 millimeters, diameter is 4 mm so these are